because of the leadership of Dr. Peter Phillips as opposition leader, has made Andrew Olnick's job as Prime Minister untenable. It is viewed as a mere ritual. The throne speech plays an important role in outlining the priorities of the government for the new financial year, bringing together all arms of the state in partnership towards building the new and the prosperous Jamaica. We started 2019 on a positive note, following one of the most successful years economically and socially in the country's modern history. Employment in Jamaica has never been higher. The period of economic growth has been sustained across 15 quarters. Significant infrastructure projects across the island that promise to enhance efficiency and productivity are underway. Substantial progress has been made towards a safer and a more secure Jamaica. This administration has put in place tough and resolute measures to tackle crime. It must be noted that we had some success in 2018 with reductions in serious and violent crimes, category one. The government will continue on its multi-dimensional path of increasing the safety and security of all Jamaicans. This year, the government will unveil a new social housing program, SHP, which will see the provision of indigent housing, relocation of vulnerable communities, and the upgrading of tenements or big yards. The new SHP will be administered under the housing component of the HOPE, through which employment opportunities will be provided for HOPE Inter. The administration will also embark on major roadworks in the eastern section of the country to include St. Thomas and Portland, as well as to continue the major activities linking Clarendon to Manchester via the East-West Show Road. This with the intention to make the road network more resilient through the construction of bridges, retaining walls, and other features. This year, the government will continue its focus on water by a significant increase in the budgetary allocation for rural water. The government continues to address the current challenges and will shortly announce some interim measures to improve the provision of consistent potable water to the areas affected. For this legislative year, the Ministry of Local Government will procure 100 garbage collection units for the National Solid Waste Management Authority. Three key regulations governing solid waste disposal will be brought before this honorable house. Firstly, the National Solid Waste Management Authority disposal of solid waste facilities regulations. This will seek to regulate the kinds of material which may be disposed of at a disposal site and the manner in which such disposal is done. Secondly, the National Solid Waste Management Public Cleansing Regulations, which will outline the full schedule of penalties for all breaches of the Act. And lastly, the National Solid Waste Management Authority disposal of hazardous waste electronic and electrical regulations. The Jamaica Fire Brigade will secure eight pumpers in the 2019-2020 financial year. The agency will also acquire 20 life rafts for flooding and swift water rescue. 
these equipment will strengthen the brigade's ability to respond to emergencies across the country. This year, the ministry will establish six justice centers island-wide to coordinate alternative dispute resolution activities and enable easier access to justice services by members of the public. The government will implement an electronic case management system across the justice sector to ensure the timely disposal of cases and complete the installation of video and audio technology in 78 courtrooms across 19 courts to facilitate video evidence and electronic recording of evidence.